Hi guys, just a quick update on the um, Chinese diesel eater E10 E8. Now, if you watch all them videos on YouTube telling you push the cable, well, push the, um, the nylon fused pipe, like measure how long, how far it's got to go in, and pushing up all the way. So, say you've got your filter and you've got your, um, uh, your nylon pipe. You put your rubber hose on first, push the nylon pipe into it and push it all the way so they put together then clamp it. Well, I strongly recommend you don't do that. Um, that's what I did when I fitted it. Primed my heater, had it working, no problem. Then I kept on getting E8, E10, which is all related down to fuel. Um, so what I did in the end was I slackened all the Jubilee clips off and just pulled the pipe back a little bit so there was some so there was a gap there because obviously if you push the nylon pipe all the way up it's not necessarily going to the holes aren't necessarily going to line up so you could be potentially blocking your diesel feed so if you pull them back just a little bit so there's a little bit of gap in the rubber you can feel it if you squeeze the rubber tubing you can feel it compress obviously if you push it all the way in too far and you squeeze the rubber pipe there's no compression there so if you pull them back just a little bit tighten your clips up prime it again and um, obviously just in case if you if you do pull it out prime it again just in case there's any holes air, air just make just don't prime it for too long otherwise you'll flood the chamber and you'll just get loads of smoke and it could cut out through um, our fuel, carbon build up on your um, atomizer. So I just prime it a little bit just so as you can see that the, uh, the diesel is flowing through. Switch the primer off and then just start it as normal. Right, what I also did with mine, um, when I originally fitted it, the, the pipe came from the pump, which is just back here, and it came round, round the back of the uh, air inlet and then up back up there, to around the back of the inlet there, and then back into the heater. What I've actually done as well, I've actually shortened it. So it runs directly from the pump, straight into the heater. And I think it's about nine inches long, the hose. I've put a little bit of conduit on, on there just to uh, protect the, uh, the hose from the exhaust. Uh, and, and all I've got to do now is then just uh, tidy these up and I've got some cloud cell foam that I'm going to wrap around the pump uh, just to help insulate some of the noise. Obviously you don't hear that much when you're inside now with the pump being on the outside but it's just to protect the uh, electrical connections. I mean I don't want any water getting in there and corroding, corroding the um, yeah, connections onto the pump. So that's that. Right, that's my uh, diesel heater controller mounted up here. Um, what I actually did was took the uh, the actual pins out the connection, drilled a small hole, threaded the cable through. Now, I don't know whether you can see uh, the glow plugs just switched off and the pump is on. Hopefully that should start up now. Let's just see how it goes. As you can hear, the, uh, the fan noise is increasing and it's starting to blow warm air out. No problems at all at the moment. What I actually did was the, uh, the heater control the cable. It actually goes behind the panel and it's actually fed up through the panel beyond the panel just up into here and it's uh, connected up to my controller and there you go you can see the, uh, the temperature just starting to come up and 
that's the actual temperature inside the van at the moment, 3 degrees C. Uh, and it's on full. Um, you can, can uh, change the settings. Um, to be honest, they come out of the factory set for a reason the way they are. And they usually work in those settings. I can't see any real reason to turn them to adjust them. I mean, I suppose if you wanted to increase the uh, the pump hertz um, and raise it slightly, you've also got to raise the fan speed um, to keep the fuel air mixture ratio um, constant, so you don't over over fuel it. Because obviously, if you increase the if you go into the advanced settings and you increase the fuel you've obviously got to increase the air otherwise the mixture will be running rich and it'll just sort up but I so say the only reason you you'd want to go into the advanced settings if you if you wanted to try to get it to run a bit hotter but I say don't fix what isn't broken that's my motto so as you can see temperatures coming up now uh, that's the um, the voltage at the moment I've got it running with the engine on at the moment because you can sometimes get um, uh, problems with the voltage that very very temperamental and so what I've got to actually do to this is shorten the actual cable on the heater the uh, the power feed um, I've got it wired up to the uh, the battery at the moment the, the van battery um, but I'm going to shorten the cable uh, wire it into my leisure batteries and have a thicker feed um, probably 6mm squared um, so it gets a uh, a good voltage to it because I know that although it comes with a 3 metre cable anything out of the 3 metres they are temperamental you get a bit of voltage drop so you're better off shortening it and wiring a thicker cable up to your batteries as I say that's the heater running, it's come up to temperature now as you can see the glow plug lights off and I've currently got six bars illuminated and the fuel pumps running there you go, that's the uh, the heater in temperature mode now if you want to take it out to temperature mode and put it into Hertz mode that is basically the speed of the pump in Hertz and you can slow it down that's the um, not the ticking noise so obviously the lower the Hertz that's the clicking of the pump um, which is basically a manual mode as you lower the speed of the uh, the pump it also lowers the speed of the fan because they correspond um, or I say you can go into temperature mode where it uses the thermostat it isn't very accurate because the heater doesn't actually turn off um, but I say you can do it in temperature mode so it's, on my old van I had a, a 5 kilowatt and because it was it was a little bit too big for the van um, that heater I used to just set it to 17 degrees and it'd be toasty all day um, but I say on this one set it to 20 degrees it'll slow the fan down and uh, also slow the pump and um, I say it'll stay running on a fairly high temperature at fairly high speed at the moment until it starts to uh, come up to temperature as it approaches that 20, 20 degrees it will gradually slow the fan down there you go I say and that's my uh, diesel heater problem solving install update video for you all right that's the heater running now um, I say if you've uh, enjoyed the video um, just give it a thumbs up every little bit helps if there's any questions that you've got just stick them down in the comments and um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can and try and answer them as best as I can um, if you say if you've enjoyed it uh, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel um, there are a few other videos at the moment all on my van build and uh, I'll be uploading further videos as the build progresses you know, so 
obviously there's three videos and I appear to have dragged it out but I didn't particularly want to use the um, the green hose that comes with it uh, the reasons I have is like what I've researched and um, past experiences with the uh, the larger diameter pipe some other people use it they don't have any problems but I'll say I'll stick to my guns and I'll use the uh, the proper stuff at the end of the day if it was meant to have thick um, silicon hose all the other companies have used it as well so um, also I had a bit of a problem when I actually fitted it and starting it up with the um, the, uh, the low voltage issue issue so uh, the um, the heater was a, a little bit temperamental when I first fitted it and I was having a, a lot of issues with uh, E8 with the fuel um, as I say when I initially fitted it I pushed all the pipes in and done everything make everything secure uh, and obviously it wasn't drawing enough fuel so that's all sorted now the heat is running fine so thanks for watching this video uh, as I say again if you've got any questions and you've liked it just give it a thumbs up subscribe stick your comments in the comment box below and um, thanks for watching cheers guys catch you all later